Good morning. I'm Janelle Burrow with your morning digital news brief for this Friday, October 20th. A bicyclist is in critical condition after being hit by a car in North Philadelphia. That crash happening just after midnight at 8th and Indiana Avenue. Police say the victim was pinned and dragged underneath the car. The search right now continuing for that driver. And Atlantic City Electric has started work in the Wildwoods to repair damage from a July fire at a substation and also upgrade that system. The fire knocked out power to the entire island at the time. Crews will be replacing underground cables and putting in improvements to detect and isolate energy grid issues. The project will go right up to the fall of next year. And the Phillies hoping to bounce back tonight in game four of the NLCS. This is the team practicing at Chase Fields yesterday before their loss to the Arizona Diamondbacks, two to one. The Phillies lead the series two to one. First pitch tonight at 807. Christopher Sanchez will start for the Phils. Now a look at our next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Tammy Susan. Morning Tammy. Well good morning to you. We are looking at rain out there periodically throughout the day. We've already seen some showers come through mainly the I-95 corridor and across South Jersey. So let's take a look at what you can expect now. Planning for the rain. Scattered showers are possible today, but we are also going to get some peaks of sunshine, especially this afternoon. Then we'll see showers and a few thunderstorms roll through tonight. The whole area should see that. So be prepared for that sometime between 8 and midnight. We'll see those continue to taper off towards sunrise tomorrow. And then we will have sh maybe a scattered shower tomorrow morning early. And then perhaps just an instability shower in the afternoon. Area of low pressure along the Carolina coastline. That moves through quickly today. And then we watch that system coming into the Ohio Valley to push through a little bit later on this evening. So here's the break that we could get this afternoon. Afternoon, between about 2 and 4, maybe even as late as 6 before that next line comes in from the west. Here we are at 8.30 tonight and at 11.30 still moving through Philadelphia. Some clearing overnight. We start the day tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds and maybe some scattered showers moving through in the afternoon before clearing out on Sunday. And yes, on Sunday we will see some clouds building back into the area later in the day. Maybe even an instability shower for the Lehigh Valley and up into the Poconos. 69 today, 65 tomorrow. A brisk and chilly 58 on Sunday, 60 with sun on Monday, and back to the 70s by Thursday. Janelle? All right, thank you, Tammy. And remember, you can always get Tammy's up to date forecast and the latest stories here on CBSPhiladelphia.com. That's the latest for your morning digital brief. I'm Janelle Burrell. Have a great Friday.